Well, this is your introduction to high performance liquid chromatography, HPLC. We have an Agilent Technologies 1260 Infinity 2 system. And so um, we have up here, you can see we have for up to four different solvents we can use for mobile phase. And so we can mix those proportionally. So basically those come down these lines all the way down to our proportioning valve. And so here we actually proportion how much of each solvent gets mixed together. We then have a mixing port and a pump assembly. So our pump assembly is gonna keep our solvent passing through the column. Um, right here we have a purge valve. And so that purge valve allows us to clear any air out of the pump um, as we are um, um, uh, as we as we replace solvents or fill new ones, um, we also have a dampener to uh, to damp out the uh, the pulsing from the pump. And then once we pass through our pump, we come up here to where you can actually see we have our little auto sampler area where we set up our samples. And then this is where the action happens as far as uh, injecting. So we have an injection loop here that we can fill based on what we dial in. So the sample is flowing through. We actually have just eluent that flows through. And then when we are ready and we filled our loop, then this actually switches over so that we actually connect our lines for our, well, our pump line and our loop line. And it pushes everything out of the loop onto the column or onto our, um, into our flow line. And then our flow line comes down here and it passes through a little pre-filter. So this pre-filter filters out any particulates that may have gotten through um, our filtration from beforehand because this is high, all this is called high performance liquid chromatography. It's also high pressure because we have very small particulates within our column um, and we don't wanna get it plugged up. So we pass through this filter and then down here, where we come through, we pass through here, and we actually enter our column. So the column you'll notice is encased in stainless steel. And again, that's because we're using high, high pressure uh, liquid chromatography, and those pressures reach about um, hundreds of bar. So we actually, um, so we can pass through our column, and then we pass down here to our next where we actually have a, um, this is our source. So we have a UV vis source. So we have a deuterium lamp and a tungsten lamp that provide UV and visible uh, light or electromagnetic radiation. And then we actually have a flow through cell where we detect, um, where we actually pass the light through our sample and detect absorbance. And then of course we pass out of the side and we go down to waste. Um, where we actually accumulate our waste down here in this big jug. And, uh, and then the sample, the analysis is done.